guys, what's going on? It's Uncle Tone. How are you guys doing? Today I'm going to have my full review for you guys on the High Shops h and &H Roche T-Mau case for the iPhone 5. As you can see, I do have two of them here, which means this video might be a giveaway. Stick around to the end of the video for that. Uh, you can pick this one up over on the High Shops website. I will, of course, have a link to it right down there in the bottom bar for 18 95. Um, the cool thing about this one is I have the standard black and white versions here. Um, but if you head over to their website now, you can mix and match your own colors for this one. This is a two-piece case, a two-piece bumper style case. And uh, you can mix and match your own colors if you want for the same standard $18.95 price, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like being given the choice to mix and match my own colors. That's kind of cool. I'm going to work with the black one today, so we'll slide the white one over here. And I'm going to work with the black one on the black iPhone today, just so you guys can kind of get a better color perspective. So inside the package, you are going to get the case itself, which we'll get to in just a second, as well as front and rear screen shields for your device so that you are fully protected, being this is a bumper style case. Um, you're going to get front and rear screen shields included as well. They are the crystal clear variety. So there you go. You're also going to get a little squeegee and a little microfiber cloth for installing your screen shields. Pretty darn cool. So we'll move those over here. And that's everything that's included in the package. Awesome that they include the screen shields. I like that quite a bit. Simply take the cardboard insert out here. And here we have the case itself. Now, this is very similar to the Roche t case for the iPhone 4 and 4S. Uh, simply made to fit the iPhone 5. I did forget to mention that you do get a couple of little felt clip kind of things. They're meant to be used with, um, where are they? Where did you go? They're meant to be used inside the case to kind of reduce any play and that sort of thing. Here they are. Right there. They're meant to be used kind of inside the case to reduce any, you know, play or give or anything inside the case. I didn't use them. I rocked the case without them and I found that it worked just fine, so I didn't need them. So here we have, get out of the way. Here we have the case itself. Now to install it on your iPhone, you're simply going to take your iPhone which I left mine over there. Slip it in the case, just like so, preferably the right way tone, duh. Wrap it around just like so. And then you have this exposed side here. This is piece one. And then simply take piece two. And there are two little notches, as you can see in the case here, and two little kind of dots on the side piece that pop in there. Uh, one of them is larger than the other one, so it's, it's impossible to put this on the wrong way. Uh, so simply pop that one in here in the top, lift this one up and over, and simply squeeze it together until you hear it pop into place. Just like so. And there you go, you are good, you are installed, everything is ready to rock. Um, I really like this, I've been using this quite a bit, actually, um, it really adds no bulk to your phone. Uh, provides you with a little bit of lay on the table design in both the front and back of the phone in combination with the front and rear screen shields you get great protection um, your device is completely covered um, you're not getting a whole lot of drop protection with this one but it isn't meant to be you know a drop protection case it's a bumper so you know it's basically just providing you with scratch protection and that's really it let's go ahead and take a look at all the ports and cutouts and stuff the sleep wake button is, uh, you know, has a nice little beveled edge around it. Really easy to press to get your finger in there and press it is no problem. Moving around here to the side, you have one large cutout for your vibrate switch and your volume up and down buttons. Also really easy to press because, you know, they're naked. So there you go. Easy to get to. No problem. Moving down here to the bottom, you have three separate cutouts for your headphone jack, microphone, speaker, and lightning dock. Uh, all work very well. I didn't have any trouble charging or anything like that. There are no docks available for the iPhone 5 yet, so I couldn't tell you if you can dock with it or not because there really aren't any docks yet. I miss docking my phone. I miss having my dock beside my bed every night, just dropping my phone in and going to bed. I miss that. This new lightning connector. They need to get some docks out for the lightning connector. There you go. So that's pretty much going to do it, guys, for my review on the H&H Roche t case from the very cool people over at the high shop. Thanks very much for sending this one over to them. Me, 
for review. I really do appreciate it. Onwards to the giveaway. Let's go ahead and give one of these away. I can't use both of them. So uh, leave me a comment down in the comment box below. All you got to let me know is what color do you want? Do you want the white or do you want the black one? Just let me know in the comment box down below. That's all you have to do. Be subscribed. Let me know which color you want. I'll let this run a couple of weeks. And then I'll go ahead, pick a winner, contact you via YouTube PM, and you'll get your choice of the white or the black Roche T-Mau case for the iPhone 5. Cool beans. Thanks for watching, guys. That's going to do it for today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cool beans. Rock on.